Okay, so you know those purpley, pinky, really beautiful pastel tones that you see in sunset photos? Today I'm going to show you how to create them in Photoshop using the curves function and a few simple settings that you can make in your camera before you take the photo. So most cameras nowadays will have the ability to go in and change your white balance settings. So if you head into your camera's menu, you will find you've got a whole bunch of different options there that will change the, the tones of the image. Um, the one for pastel tones is cloudy. So if you head in there, select that, even if it's not cloudy, it'll just bring out the warmth in the tones. Oh, my little model is out of the shot. Okay, so once you've got your image opened up in Photoshop, first thing to do is just decide what you want to work on. So for me, in this image, uh, taken in the Isle of Skye, I used the Olympus EM1 Mark II, so there's a lot of detail left in the horizon there, even though I overexposed to um, allow for the pastels to have a better effect later on when I do the edit. Um, but so I'm going to work on the sky in this example. Um, for that, just head to the toolbar in the left, and you've got the rectangular marquee tool there. Um, at the top, there's the feather. I like to add 222 there just as a way of creating little uh, rounded corners rather than harsh, um, sharp ones. So you can add whatever number you like up in there. Um, so to go ahead and select, just simply drag down the mouse and drag it across the screen. You'll see the nice rounded corners come up there. In order to get a little closer to the horizon, just click down the shift button and at the same time, hold and drag across. So keeping that shift button down, it will just allow you to get a little bit closer without going over the mountain. So once that's done, click Control M, which will bring up your curve, Curves tool. In there you've got the channel with the RGB, which has red, green and blue. Um, this is where you'll enhance the tones and just bring those pastels out to life. So we start with the red, Simply, simply increasing it just a tiny bit there, which will bring out those beautiful sunset tones. Um, if you head down to blue, or just make it a little bit more purpley if you like. It's completely personal taste as to what you do. You can go really crazy, drag it up and down. There's some pretty horrific things that you can do with Photoshop. So let's just stay nice and close to that line in the middle there, just so it's a nice gentle effect to the colours and they still look nice and natural. Um, if you want to increase the overall brightness or darkness of the image, just select RGB as a whole, which is all the colours combined, and you can simply drag it up and down, gently increasing or decreasing that there. So I think that's enough actually as it is. Um, with pastels it is important to think about the rest of the image so you don't want a really bright beautiful pastel -y sky and then it doesn't actually match at all with the rest of the image so sometimes you might have to go in increase a little bit of brightness along the uh, foreground there if you do that again using the RGB lightening that up a touch um, you can also add red to the foreground if you need to just so there does look like there's that glow um, reflecting there from the sky so I'll just go in and show you a quick um, before and after there. So that is before and that is after. So it's a nice quick way to add pastels to your image using the curves function. Um, I hope that you can re recreate that yourself. If you've got any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below um, and I will be sharing other editing techniques over the coming weeks. So thank you so much for watching.